Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And y'all know I hate how Chicago, the Chicago media, try to pin stuff on a lot of dead guys. But this one might be true. I did a little digging. And it seems like 600 McAdoo was released from prison sometime in 2016. And we all know when he was incarcerated again and unfortunately lost his life, R.I.P. Mac. Um, but right now he's being named. You know, two months ago, Reddit already had figured out. I'm not going to put in all the pictures because one of the guys is um, that they put... You can make your, your own decisions of why I am can't put him in this video. But Reddit solved this murder just like they did FBG Duck murder months ago. And right now it's hitting the internet again with Mama Duck's latest um, revelation. She posted that um, they're, they're already in the process of making arrests for the murder of FBG Brick. Um, she said, we're almost at the finish line, baby. And right now they, they're pretty much assuring that 600 McAdoo was one of the people of interest. It was one of four guys. You know, McAdoo was one of four guys that was allegedly responsible for the death of FBG Brick. And, you know, with him being deceased, just kind of like with the Zell Money situation, they're not going to be able to pin anything on him. But they're going to most definitely get to the bottom of this. Um, when McAdoo um, was free, he was accused of murdering two females for hire. Um, he had a couple more bees under his belt, allegedly. So for a fact, just like D-Rose, just like with um, K.I., Vaughn, the police, were look, they know all about all about him. They probably called him by his first name numerous times whenever they seen him on the street. So the research that they are doing has been going back for quite some time, um, especially with the feds t picking up a lot of these cases um, in the Chicago drill scene. For a fact, they're going to get to the bottom of this sooner than later. It's just that, you know, I, I just don't like how these people are finding this stuff out. Like, how are these internet detectives really doing the, the, the digging? Like, how are they getting to the bottom of this? Because if that's the case, whoever you is, hit my DMs. I, got, I want you to follow a couple people around. You know what I'm saying? I need you to follow a couple people around for me. I got 200 a piece for two days of investigation work. Because you niggas beating CPD. For sure. And look, it's crazy because some of the people that's doing this investigation, not even from Chicago, one of the people that they're blaming um, for the murder was HK, um, as well as C Murder um, from O Block. And it's one of those things, right? Because right now you see how they're trying to go along with um, Ruski had the gun from um, the Crump hit. Uh, Melly was responsible for Can't Get Right. There's so many different conspiracies going on. The most that we could do is let time play out and let the people who actually are investigating this shit, I'm talking about the badge, do their um, due diligence. Because honestly, a lot of people has lost a lot of shit in this drill war. But nobody has really lost as much as FBG Duck. He lost his life. He lost stardom and fame being blackballed. He lost money by not being able to get a deal. He lost brothers. He lost sisters. He lost family. He lost friends. And he's not even here to, see, to even reap any of the benefits. You get what I'm saying? And I wonder how he would feel when you see his, um, his brother, I'm sorry, his, his cousin Ruga interacting with some of the same sets that took out some of his main loved ones. That's not a knock on ruler. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. Y'all think they got this case in the bag? I'm gone.